What is going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. These are the Prism Gold Mizuno Alpha Japans and I'm very excited to show you these to you. Funny story, they don't actually come in a box which is interesting so I'll tell you that story right now. Basically what happened is as you guys know I've been working with Ultra Football here in Melbourne and uh, been very much enjoying the process there. Basically they had their Mizuno rep come in. Mizuno rep had an extra pair of these in a size 9 and I guess he was like hey I know you guys work with Noah Cavanaugh. Noah Cavanaugh's a size 9. Uh, give these to him. They don't actually come in a box but they're brand new still have all the stickers and everything in them. Um, so I was like uh, absolutely I'll take those for free. So these are uh, Prism Gold with the uh, alpha which i'm very stoked about and really excited to get these on feet as well so there is the boots uh, so here we go so let's talk all about tech specs unfortunately obviously you don't get an unboxing experience i think these look awesome i have admired these in store online in photos I know Sergio Ramos has been playing in his version of these as well, and I do think that the Alpha is such a cool product. It is not one that I have found fits me overly well, uh, just because it is uh, quite a bit thinner, and because the synthetic doesn't stretch at all, it is one that ah, I've struggled with a little bit. I'm going to try my best to break these in. I'll hopefully do a full playtest video as well, but I am very excited just to have these because I think they'll make a great addition to the boot wall as well in this beautiful white and gold colorway. So the Mizuno Alpha is Mizuno's all synthetic speed boot and basically it comes in at about 195 grams. You've got a lot of tech features in this boot which I want to go over. Uh, pretty lightweight for the speed boot category, especially basically anything under 200 grams is pretty noticeably lighter than a lot of other stuff on the market as well. So this is the same last, they do the same lasting process and it's on the same kind of platform or last as they say as the neo which is the same as the morelia neo 4 and neo 4 beta so it's a, a similar shape to that obviously you're going to get a slightly different fit because it is all synthetic so as i said before the lack of stretch in the upper is going to probably be a little bit more suited to thinner foot shapes or more kind of average foot shapes if you will you have a synthetic layered upper which includes sort of this internal cage with the suede on the inside then you've got an internal cage which you can kind of see here they're basically little raised areas or pockets where you've got a little bit of padded material all the way through the cage kind of goes all around the upper and it sits in between a suede material and then this um this uh, synthetic on the outside, which is a little bit sticky and very, very well performing. It has such a nice barefoot feeling and that extra little padded cage on the inside part of those kind of three layer upper does actually provide a little tiny bit of cushioning, as you would say, maybe like a flavor of cushioning, which is super nice for a boot that's meant to be more in the speed boot category. Very, very lightweight, as you can see, super, super soft as far as synthetics go. And I would say these are definitely on par with Vapor Posit from, and, or Vapor Posit Plus, I guess, for this newer generation of Vapor 15 Superfly 9 very very similar material so it is kind of that like textile based synthetic material uh, performs very similarly except this because of you have that kind of cage on the inside not only provides a little bit of extra stability and lockdown but i think also just makes it feel a little more natural so it's not as like paper thin and a little bit um how you how would you say i think when boots are so thin that they don't have anything to them they feel a little bit uh, fake to me I don't know whereas this feels a little bit more padded has such a nice feeling on ball and does give you a little bit of stickiness that allows you to perform in wet weather conditions as well which is really really great so a couple other tech features here for the Mizuno Alpha you've got the energy rear foot cushioning so there's a logoing let's see it's going this way there you go so there's the little logoing right there and basically that's this black pod underneath that black pod is a little bit of cushioning material that is underneath here and what that does is provide as you step into the ground with your heel area provides you a little bit of cushioning there in the rear of the boot to provide just a little bit of extra comfort and 
um, performance and stability when you're striking the ground, whether you're on artificial ground pitches or FG pitches, you should feel that quite a bit just because it is it does have a little bit of extra um, squishiness to it, which is great. You have the Carvo RS insole board, which is what you see right here, which is basically allows you to get that springy feel. So although this boot actually has quite a flat profile to it, you have a really, really nice flexibility and uh, kickback from that Carvo insert, which is awesome. The other boot brand, uh, which you can see back here, um, and right behind my head and then over there, which is all the Adler boots. You guys have seen any of those Adler reviews, the Horenzo and the Yadagarashu and the Yamatokyo, all three of those have the Carvo insert board. So go check those out. You can actually see the Carvo on the inside underneath the, uh, the insole and the sock liner, which is pretty, pretty cool. So that is a technology that has made its way into the Alpha, which is awesome. Really nice, performs really well. You can really feel how stiff the shank here is in that midfoot. And then of course you get that energy return here from the forefoot area as well. Very, very nice. So you've got the Alpha Mesh sock liner, which is the zero grip technology or zero glide technology, which actually made its way both onto the sock liner here. So it gives it a really nice grippy texturing to it as well as the inside of the tongue so you actually get zero glide here both on the tongue area which it comes in this lighter kind of uh, opaque or white and then here on the heel area all this black is also zero glide and what that does is basically with the addition of the insole or the sock liner with the zero glide you've got zero glide on the tongue over the top of your foot and then you've got zero glide in the heel area it is one of the most locked in shoes i have ever played with like you get absolutely zero slippage or zero glide if you will it's it's really sensational what they've done and what's cool about this football boot is they haven't done anything exceptional to the way the upper operates they haven't done anything that makes it um, they haven't added any extra structural elements to the lateral and medial side of the midfoot which is really nice and what that does is it really provides uh, the ability to have a neutral and beautiful sensation on feet from an upper perspective while also just adding very particular areas of grip where you won't really notice it but you really really do notice that it makes a it makes a change when you start cutting really hard when you start sprinting really hard because your foot is locked into the bottom so there's no slippage front to back side to side from uh, the bottom of your foot there's obviously lock in with the heel area all the way basically from this line all the way around the heel and then you get the zero glide on top of your foot so your foot is basically sandwiched in between zero glide on three out of four sides or all three out of three sides i guess heel up bottom yeah you get the idea, but really sensational on feet. And if you haven't tried it, I would recommend just trying them on in store or if you can order like two pairs and then return one from a website that are, you know, a lot of online stores are doing that nowadays where you can return boots because, um, yeah, so if you can try them on in any stretch uh, at any point, I would highly recommend it just to feel, even if they don't fit your foot that well, just feel the way that the Zero Glide operates because it really is something excellent and special, which I think is awesome. So that is uh, pretty much all the tech of the football boot. These are technically an FG stud pattern, but I find that the triangle studs down here really do provide a nice amount of grip, both on FG and AG pitches. I would say that they're just fine for AG, although if you have an older AG pitch, I would probably recommend getting the AG model. These on FG work beautifully fine. And then on AG they're you know, if you have newer AG, totally cool, no problems at all. But the triangle studs do get a little bit aggressive if you have older or more worn in AG models or more AG uh, pitches, if that if that makes sense. So that is the uh, that's pretty much all the tech features of the Mizuno Alpha. I'm really excited to try these on. They look incredible. Uh, one of my favorite boots of uh, all time in my collection is the gold and white pair of Phantom Venoms down there. Uh, obviously, these being white and gold as well. I just think that color combo is so pretty, really, really nice looking, and I'm really excited to try these on. We'll do a whole review. I'm hoping to get a play test in these as well. Even if they start hurting my feet a little bit, I'd like to get that out to you guys just to give you guys an idea of what the alpha feels like when you first start to break it in, and then we'll go from there. So let's hop into the on-feet portion of the video. All right, fam, here we are out on my the little pitch in the backyard with the Prism Gold 
alpha made in Japan. Now, for those of you who know and have kind of followed along in the comment section of a previous different alpha videos, I had an 8.5, which is a half size down, then I had a nine, the nine fit much better, but the width didn't feel great, um, just because I think the alpha silo is just a little bit too thin. That being said, that was all on AG surfaces, that was all in warm weather conditions, and yes, we're still in warm weather conditions here in Australia. However, I am excited to try these out on FG pitches to see if that makes any difference as far as the uh, the sizing goes. So these are a 9, in U, 9 US, to be clear, 9 US, true to size for the Alpha, fits my foot perfectly, that's what I would recommend. Now, I'm gonna try these out probably on F, FG pitches for the play test and for my training, I'll keep these pretty much only on FG pitches because I wanna make sure that as I get these on, see that's so weird because when I put my feet in them, they actually feel really, really nice straight like this. I, it's when I start to lace them up because there's no stretch in this upper because it's a pretty, uh, how would you say? Yeah, it's just, it's a synthetic that's not gonna stretch very much. Um, and I probably, nah, let's not do that right now. Uh, good thing though is they do have the extra lace loop for you. Um, that's what I would usually use, but I'm just gonna keep those. I'm just gonna single knot it for the case of this video. Um, but yeah, I mean they feel pretty good. It's just again when I start to move around a bunch, they're just slightly too thin for my feet. I think. Um, that being said, I spent quite a bit of time in the. It, they were like a pearlescent and kind of blue, purple, and red accented darker colorway. Um, thumbnail will be up on screen for those alphas. Um, and I spent quite a bit of time in those and just couldn't find the right kind of cadence to break those in right. Uh, but I'm hoping that with these on an FG surface, maybe I'll go in the morning so there's a little bit of uh, dew on the ground so they're a little bit wet and they'll break in a little bit better. I'm hoping that these are gonna be um, a part of the ro playing rotation because I love what the concept of the alpha like I'm a huge fan of what the alpha is I think they look incredible honestly I think especially in this prism gold colorway they just look absolutely sensational and with really any type of kit you can't go wrong with a white and gold pair of football boots as you know from previous football boots uh, across you know all different brands. There has been some amazing, iconic white and gold colorways, Superflies, Vapors, F50s, um, you know, you name it, they've probably had it. Even the, uh, the uh, what is it, the Premier 3 that I just reviewed as well is, you know, is gold and white, and those look absolutely amazing. So I think these look awesome. Um, to be honest, I'm actually not experiencing a ton of hot spots anywhere so right here is where I get the most hot spots on the alpha that's where it squeezes my foot the most but these seem to be doing a pretty good job maybe it's because I didn't tie them like super super tight as you can see there's a little bit of bowing here that's just because my foot is pretty wide in the toe box pretty wide in the midfoot here and then it's really thin in the heel area which uh, is one thing that actually Mizuno does really incredibly well is they've got fairly thin heel areas which means that if you have a wider heel it will move because as you can see it doesn't the uh, external heel counter doesn't come up past there so you're going to get a ton of flexibility in the heel area while also having zero glide from here basically all the way around in the internal of the heel you can kind of see it poking out um, it's that like kind of black colored um, mesh material right here and it's basically just like a really intense grip material that's going to hold your foot in place and then you also have zero glide on the top of the or on the bottom underside of this tongue so you get such a nice fit and feel and this tongue isn't going to move side to side at all which is awesome so there's a full look at the Mizuno Alpha as I said before I think these look incredible I love the Alpha silo I think like watching players like Sergio Ramos where the Alpha just is sick. I just think they look awesome on feet and I really think more players who are in the market for, you know, the vapors, the crazy fast and stuff, go try an alpha cuz the alpha is like one of the best boots on the market I think from an objective perspective. Like uh, like tech specs and objective. You know, you've got the Carvo on the inside, you've got the the crazy zero glide which holds your foot inside the boot really really well. You've got a sole plate that sits a bit more neutral and flat, but it's got that bounce back from that Carvo insert which is amazing and then you've got this incredible 
upper that's like um, a two or three layer upper that just sits right on top of your foot. Touch on the ball is super, super thin. It's one of the most barefoot feeling touches uh, on the ball, which is awesome for those of you who are looking for it. While also because of that internal cage that we talked about in the unboxing portion of the video, that internal kind of padding cage does actually give you a slight bit of extra padding to the upper. Um, and what that does is it just takes the, the, the zing or like that sting out of the ball when you're really hitting it hard or really ripping it across the field or in the back of the net or whatever. Um, manipulating the ball feels awesome. The upper isn't super sticky, although it is a pretty shiny and pretty, it's not a matte material. So it's gonna be, it's not really gonna be sticky unless you're in really hot and really dry conditions. Um, but it is gonna give you a little bit of something so that when you're manipulating the ball, when you're you know doing any sort of skill moves or anything like that, you are gonna get that little bit of extra emphasis on that control and that touch. So I'm a huge fan of the Alpha. As I said before, I think if you're in the market for a speed boot and you don't want leather, you want a synthetic, um, and you're in the market for, you know, you're looking at the other, you know, sort of major brands, I think this is as good and or better than all the, all the vapors, all the crazy fasts and stuff. Like these are just, I think these blow crazy fast out of the water. I think from a speed boot perspective, you know, if you like the idea of the Skechers SKX, then maybe that's a good idea. I think just from a quality perspective and stuff, I think these blow SKX out of the water. Um, one of my former teammates at um, Flower City, Steven Elias, shout out Steven Elias, fantastic player. Um, he wore the Alpha all year and absolutely swore by them, loved them. He wore the Alpha and the Morelia Neo 4 betas and kind of swapped back and forth between the two. And, um, but alphas were his game boot for the most time. And he, he swore by them. And I honestly think more people need to try these because they really are a fantastic fitting pair of football boots. Now, as far as the sole plate goes, as you can see, triangular studs that don't really have a lot of rounding. So if you notice, they're pretty sharp on the edges, which is gonna be probably too aggressive for most people on AG surfaces. That being said, I don't have any issues. So it just depends on kind of what your preferences are. For me, this type of sole plate isn't gonna be super aggressive for AG, but as I said before, we are gonna do most of the play testing on firm ground pitches just because I wanna see if that makes any difference in breaking the boots in or if there's anything that I could, you know, kind of try and make sure that I do with these boots in before I definitively am like, sorry guys, the alpha doesn't fit me even if I absolutely love it. But so far, like I'm not getting any hot spots, which is kind of cool. Um, there is a bit of bowing in the upper in, especially in the outside of this ankle area. As you can see, I can stick my finger kind of straight through there almost. Um, that being said, they still feel snug on my feet. And if I used the runner's knot here as well, I'd be able to eliminate that pretty quickly. But I wanna wait to make sure that this upper will stretch and mold a little bit before trying to get it through that. So maybe I'll just do, you know, the original or like the kind of the classic knot just do a single knot for now and see how we go as we play in them, get a couple training sessions in them, get that play test and go from there. So I am super excited uh, to whoever at Mizuno gave them to Ultra to give to me. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. These are absolutely staying in the collection because I just think they look sick and I love white and gold boots. I think they just look amazing on feet and just in photos and stuff. So we're going to keep these around for uh pretty much for a while, I think. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for the video guys today. If I haven't answered any of your questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to everybody down there. Like the video if you got value from it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.